Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Chris McMahon here with EXP Realty. And what we got for you today is we're going to kind of take a deep dive into the Saratoga Springs real estate market. And we're going to kind of go back and check everything, not only just a year, but we're going to go back two, three, even more further than that as far as the years. We're going to break it down in a couple different categories. We'll take a look at single family homes. We're going to look at some townhomes. And then we're also for our investor out there, we're going to kind of take a look at some multi-properties that are going on over there and just see what the trend has been currently, where it has been in the past, what does it look like it may happen in the future, which no one can predict, but we like to try and pretend that we can predict it. So let's go in here. We're just going to kind of start in one. So this take a deep dive right into Saratoga Springs. I'm going to share my screen with you here as always, and we're bringing up the Saratoga market. And the first thing we got to look over here is we're pretty healthy into a seller's market. Right now, we're starting off with the single family. Again, we've been like this for a while, and... I know for some of the buyers, you may be getting a little bit frustrated, but the good news is, is interest rates lately have been starting to kind of tick down a little bit. I think they came up down about a third of a percent this week. So keep an eye on that because we are in February, beginning of February. Hopefully they'll kind of come start bringing down a little bit and bring some buyers out here onto the market. But we are in a pretty healthy seller's market right now. Not a big surprise. Been there for a while. Months of inventory is about two and a half. This is just a general overview for the market. They're getting 99.6% of list to sold ratio. So they're almost getting 100% of what they're asking for. And right now the medium sales price is 455000 in Saratoga Springs. Bringing this down a little bit. Uh, medium estimated property value is 550, which is down 2% from the previous month um, and is up 7.7% over the 12 months. So over the 12 months, it's up over 8 or almost 8%. And it's important to know that we're kind of going and doing a year in review here because we're looking at the end of December of 2023 for this, um, as you can see right here. So let's roll down here. And we're going to take a quick look here. Going to kind of keep it just a couple things. We're not checking everything. I, new listings are great, but I really want to check all the active listings. So let's take a look at all the active listings. We're going to break it down in the first section here for the year. So the median sales price right now currently is at 825000 As you can see, it's not the high, it's not the low. The low kind of came in here for the year at $688,000. Um, the high was in June at 865000 So you can see, you know, it peaked up there pretty high in June, kind of dropped a little bit. It has recovered. And now, actually, the last couple months, it is kind of sloping upwards as far as the median sales price is going up. How does that look over the two-year span? As we can see right here, this is where we're at. This is the high we just talked about in June. We come all the way back over here. This is two years ago at this time was 643. So you can see we're quite a bit higher right now. And we're trending upwards over the last couple of months. And right now we're, uh, we're in some quiet months. So the interesting to see where this takes us as we break into the spring. It looks as if right now, if we're going up right now, that this could continue to move up. All right, when we're way over what we were two years ago at this time. Now, three years ago at this time, it kind of was, I don't want to say it was level. There's always ups and downs and peaks and valleys in it. But as you can see, there's a lot more volatility over here from, uh, we'll say, about July of 2022 to the present. You can see a lot more volatility going up and down in the markets and fluctuations and stuff like that, where it was a lot flatter right here. Not as many as those peaks and valleys from July 22, starting back in February of 2021, where it was. So that's the three years. So the last, you know, what are we looking at here? Year and a half or so. It's been up and down quite a bit more, and we're trending in the upward motion as we see that. Now, let's take a look at this over the five-year projection. Five-year, again, we're seeing this over the last, you know, since July 2022, which has been about a year and a half, a lot of fluctuation right here. Over here, it's seen a little bit more of a pattern of it going up, but more of a gradual going up, not as, you know, many peaks and valleys as we're seeing over here. So will this market level off and kind of get more of a traditional flow that we saw right here where the price is kind of moving up slightly as it does because it 
um, we all know that real estate is reactionary to inflation. So as inflation goes up, so does real estate prices. So to see this gradually going up like that, not a big surprise. But this right here shows some, you know, some big things going on. Um, that's the five years. Now, the next thing I do want to take a look at is the number of properties. So let's come back over here and we're going to take a look at the year right now. We're at, we're at a low point in December when they had 73. It peaked in October, interestingly enough, at the end of the busy season with 113. This is the lowest point in the last 12 months that we're at right now as far as the number of listings. Um, seeing that a lot around the capital region is that, you know, the listings are kind of low at this point. Quiet time of year, just coming off the holidays and everything like that, or just getting into the holidays because we're still covering December here. So let's go in here and take a look at two-year span. Again, we're low. This is the lowest it's been in two years. Two years ago at this point, it was even slightly higher at 76. So there was a little bit of a difference. And we've had these changes all the way through where the high point in the last two years was actually July of 2022 when we had the high point. Over a three-year span, now we're starting to see a little bit more of a picture here. Okay? Again, we're here. This is the lowest it's been in the last three years as far as that. It was fairly level, you know, hovering around that 100 mark. As you can see the 100 right here. That's what this line is. So we're kind of at the 100 mark. Before this, I would have to say December 2021, it was higher. We had 123 at that point. All the way back over here in February, three years ago, we had over 200 listings. So a year ago, roughly at this time, we had about 140 more houses for sale on the market. All time, which only goes back five years. So it's not really all time. But it says all. We'll go back five years. As we can see, five years ago, we had just under 400 homes on the market for sale in December. We're right over now, we're at 73. So there's been a big decline in the number of houses out on the market. So who's that good for? It's good for sellers. One of the reasons why we're seeing it's a seller's market. Because... Without all this competition that we saw out here, people are going for, he got more action going for just those single homes right there that is going to drive the prices up. So if you're sitting out there thinking, maybe I should sell, maybe I shouldn't sell, may not be a bad time to put your house on the market because there's not a lot of competition. Eventually, we're hoping, at least the buyers are, that these people are sitting on their homes decide to put it back in the market and we start to see some of these two, three, four hundred houses out on the market for sale there. That would be good for buyers. But if that comes out in the market right there, that's going to help drive the prices down because with competition, prices will come down on that. So that is our five-year look on the active listings. And we're just going to take a quick peek before we move on here at the actual sold listings. So come over here. Medium sales price, $455, which is the lowest over the last year. It peaked in August at $702. These are actual sold listings, what they actually sold for. Two years, not quite the lowest. The lowest is in Ju July of 2022. But this is probably about the second point of the lowest. Three years. Okay, so we're starting to see. A little bit here, the peaks and valleys and everything here. Still, again, not the lowest. couple lower points over here at 400. And even back in February, it was below the 400 mark of uh, 2021. And then all time, which is we know not all time. We know it's just five years. Well, it's low. Coming off a high, really, was in August at 702. It's one of the lower points right here in the last year or two. But once you get back over here, about April 2021, something like that, most of that is lower. You do have some valleys and stuff like that where it's higher, but most of these prices or sold prices are actually lower for the medium sold price. Uh, let's take a quick look. We'll go back. Number of properties. Again, these are sales or sold. So there's 30 right now for December, which is not bad on the higher side. Got some low over the beginning of the year. Um, about in the middle, really. Two years out. Again, about in the middle. Because you got a little low dip right here, but you got a bunch higher. It seemed like we were higher than this most of the time, but it was overall as a medium, it was about in the middle. 
three years. Again, we're looking at this. We see 30. Mm, yeah, it's a little bit on the lower side. I mean, it's in the middle as far as you compare it to this low right here compared to the high over there. Even that, it's still a little bit on the lower side. But for the most of the time, we've got more properties on the market than that. And all time, about the same. Okay, so we got real peaked over here in October of uh, 2020 with 68. We're over here at 30. So, yeah, about half on that one as we're looking at it. Let's go through. The next thing I want to take a look at here is we're going to go condos and townhomes. We'll apply this to all the charts. We see that little arrow. If you're watching that right there, it shifts up closer to a balanced market. So we're still healthy in a seller's market right here. But that arrow is definitely shifting towards the middle more for the uh, condos. <clears throat> they got a little over three months of inventory. They're selling for over the list price at 101.6, but they're selling pretty fast. So meeting days on the market is four. So they're when they're popping on the market, they're going quick. And then 440,000 changed basically the same, up 0.2%, but it's up almost over 11% for the year on them. Uh, let's go over here and take a look at first. We're going to skip the new listings. I want active listings. That's what we're going to look at. Active listings, one year. Medium list price is 880000 as we're looking at it. All right. Actually, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Here we go. Let's move over. Medium list price. That's what I, what I want to cover first. Over a year is the highest it's been, 880000 over the last year. You can see that spike kind of came up in September and has risen every month since then. Before that, it was down by the about 650 range, give or take a little bit. Let's kind of move over here and see what happened with it over a two-year span. So watch this right here. You see this? Pretty level, staying pretty consistent, right over just a little about six and a quarter as far as the medium list price goes. Starts to get a little volatile right here. I shouldn't say volatile. It starts to get a little bit of action going up and down right here. Spikes, recovers, and then comes up, recovers, and then boom, took off right here in September of 2023, moving up through there. Um, big change in that. So the demand right now, it looks like for condos and condos and townhomes has spiked going back to September. What's the three-month change in this? So in October 2021, it's been was relatively flat till we got to that area where it started getting some activity and it spiked. We had a little bit of a spike right over here, kind of came up, not quite as high as it is now, but that's to the 750 range, but then recovered and came right back down. This jumped up over a couple months and then came right back down. All time. Here's that flat range we were just looking at. Here's the activity we've seen in the last couple months before the end of the year. Here. It was high back in December of 2018, kind of up and down a little bit. So this right here with that long flat range over that couple of years um, was uh, pretty smooth for that. Did not much of a change until we, we just got to September. So as you can see, way up what it was over five years ago. But in real estate, like we said, that's not really surprising. It should go up over the five-year span. Let's come down here. We're going to look at sold really quick. One year, sold listings. Right now, 440K is the medium sales price. The low was in July at zero. So they had no sales on townhomes or condos in the month of July. So that's not a great indicator for us. But the high was in June of this year at almost $1 million for a townhome. Uh, two years out. A lot of peaks and valleys going on right here. So our high, it looks like, did we break the million mark? We did. Right over here, the high is in May 2022. Had a little over a million dollars on it. Three-year outlook. So it's almost got to come back down to where it was back in 2021. We had some up and down a little in 2021, but we kind of recovered back to that range of about two years ago. And let's go five years out. As you can see, a couple dips right here where it went to zero. It's on downward slope, kind of coming back here to almost this uh, 400 spot. Let's go up here. We're going to take a look at the last section we want to look at, which is investment properties, multifamilies. 
All right, let's take a look here at multifamily properties here. Again, seller's market. We got a little over three months of inventory. They're going at 92% list to sold price. 90 days on the market, so they're lasting a pretty decent amount of time compared to some of the other ones. And they're going at about 700000 as far as the prices go. So that's last month it when dipped 0.3%, but it's up 3.2% for the 12-month change for them. So, again, let's go down here. Let's take a look at our active listing. So the median list price, this is the category we're talking about right now. We're sitting at right now 865000 The peak, that is the peak. It looks like it's tied right here with April where it was about eight hundred and sixty-five as well. The low came back in November at 650000 for the year over the two years let's take a look it's not the high right now our high for the last two years was 925,000 that's in may of 2022 was the high and the low was right here in november of 2022 which was 625,000 we're so we're trending up here as the year ended in 2023 let's see where we're at over the three year span so right here Look at this. This is interesting. So at November 2021 is when we had a big spike going up in the multifamily properties in Saratoga. Before then, for the, at least the last couple months here, was pretty level at about just under 400000 from February to October. And that one, and then it had a big spike, and it's kind of been kind of playing in this area up here in the 600 range. Uh, and if you few times spiking above that as well so that's the three-year outlook let's take this out to the five-year outlook and yeah so things got active in saratoga for rental properties right about november 2021 before that it was kind of hitting in the mid 300s maybe getting close to 400 range for those properties and boom right here we saw that spike and it's kind of going up and down a little bit it hasn't seemed to really settle we're moving its way up so we're What's the trend going to be as this gets towards the summer? It's a good question. I suspect it's going to kind of trend in an upward direction right now. <clears throat> Number of properties for sale on that. This is the year. We're at seven right now. So there's only seven active listings currently in Saratoga. The high for the year was back in March. In March, I had 17 listings. So there hasn't been a ton of listings in the Saratoga Springs. This is in the city limits here for Saratoga. There's not been a ton of listings at most 17. Over the two-year span, our high was in December of 2022 at 18. So as you can see, it's kind of worked its way in a downward motion since then to where we're at right now with seven. Even two years ago at this time, we were at 12 which was about five more than what we got right now. So the three-year trend on this, all right, we're seeing some different stuff. This is almost about the opposite of what we saw before in our last chart as far as the median list price went. So December 2021, it's kind of, if you look at it this far out, it looks pretty flat for the most part. You know, kind of coming down a little bit. Over here it was 14, so it has moved much, but – before that, the last from February to October, we were looking at 95, 100, 87. So there was quite a bit of homes, or at least multifamily homes, for sale in Saratoga. I suspect a lot about a lot of that would be the fact that Saratoga has is a very high demand. People want to live here, and people will pay a lot of money to rent here. So Probably these rental properties were on the market, people cashing in who've had them for years. They bought them up, probably put some money into them, and now they're holding on to them because they're cash cows for them. Let's see how this looks like. So, yeah, so this runs relatively flat May 19. It jumped up even higher than that at 140 and running flat from May of 2019 from December 2018, and we don't go back any further than that. So you kind of see these little tiers. It's a step going down. You got this step. It drops down. Over here, June of 2019, it runs relatively flat. So you got to November of 2021, and then it drops down again, and it's been running kind of flat ever since then. Compared to what we've seen in the past, you almost got to feel that this market's really only got one direction to go. 
And that's pretty much up. Especially because you know there's some rental properties out there. There's plenty of rental properties in the area. So you got a feeling that they got to just kind of step up. And when's that going to happen? We'll have to wait and see. But something to keep an eye on at least when they're going to kind of pop out here on the market. So uh, let's check out our sold really quick since we did for the other ones. Uh, median sold price right now, 700 It's down a low of zero. And so we got some areas here where there's no sales. But when there are sales, we're talking somewhere around the 600 700 Um as low as four, uh, 447 or 450 right around in that range for one year. Two years, again, the high, 725 right there. The low is zero because we have some periods. We see a lot of that, huh? A lot of where there's zeros going up. But like when you don't have a ton of inventory out there in the market, you know, that's kind of what it's going to look like. You can have some periods or months where there's nothing for sale or nothing sells. So going back. Pretty uh, pretty interesting with the, the spikes, the ups and downs on this. Uh, number of properties on the market. This is sold. I'm sorry, sold is three. So, again, we're five years out. We're kind of seeing the peaks, valleys, that kind of right there. Three years. Um, two years out and over the last year. We're going reverse on this one. We had three. In one, so um, come back over here. So that's our overview for the Saratoga Springs area um, over the last five years for those three different categories right there. Now, if you got any questions on this, you know, anything I can answer for you, feel free to reach out, get a hold of me, subscribe to the channel because we're going to be doing some other areas. I also do uh, monthly market reports for investors and uh, for single family homes. And uh, we got to dive into some specifics too for uh, certain times. I think last month we did townhomes. And we're going to be getting, diving in a little bit deeper into some other areas. We'll also revisit Saratoga uh, and keep uh, visiting and checking those prices to see where they're progressing to. So if you're interested in that stuff, make sure you reach out. Um, subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when new videos are coming out. And uh, reach out with me with any questions you might have. An area that you're interested in I didn't cover, be more than happy to do your own private little video, even uh, meet up with you and, and go over some of the statistics and make sure you got the information you need to when you're going out to buy your home. So look forward to uh, seeing you guys on the next video.